Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here recording as I was due in Nashville, Tennessee, and in our last episode we managed to get that roof put on there, but you know what, the more I look at it, there are more, there are little, little, little things I want to just adjust and tweak and fix. Let's go ahead and fly right on over, ooh, almost, almost made it. Like, for example, you know, when I look at this, like, these little spaces here are spawnable. We're getting creepers popping up and just jumping on me and stuff like, ooh, that's not where I want that, but it is where I want this. We gotta have no spawnable spaces throughout here. Now, some of you guys are gonna go, Joe, but this whole dome top is spawnable. Yes, but this dome is also supposed to have like little windows punched in it. And I've realized also the dome doesn't look quite right, partially because we need to go ahead and cover these stone pieces here. So if we cover these stone pieces here, then that'll give us a little bit more latitude to add the windows and then possibly put lights inside the windows and have those illuminate this such that it looks better. Let's go ahead. Can I reach that? Oh, I did. Yeah, see, so that that looks a little bit better, but you go, wait, but that's not as domey. You're right. Well, so we're going to go ahead and expand out this second circle, but leave the top two probably about where they were. So by expanding out this second circle, that's going to give us the latitude to add the uh, window type things I was talking about. So kind of just come in like this. Now, I haven't worked out exactly how I want to get the windows working, but core concept, they should be like these little tiny windows in, kind of embedded out into... Let's go ahead and just touch that up a little. Okay. So they should be like little tiny windows, maybe located like here. And so then, like, if we were to put a window here and have a torch directly underneath it, how would that look, you know? Would that still, per, like, it still conveys the dome's general shape, but without, like, necessarily wrecking it or anything. So anyway, we can come in here like so and just apply the same thing generally around the dome. Now, these uh, little windows here, I'm wondering almost if I should use a dark green glass on these. We can come back to that, but... Actually, for how we want these to look from inside, we want to make sure that we're occluding the sky as best we can. So I think that we're going to want to go ahead and stick with the black glass. Now, okay. So then for like pieces like this, maybe, maybe I don't know. Hmm. Actually, I think this should actually intersect the dome. That, because that dome goes far enough back on this side. Yeah, it does. Okay, great. So where were we? We were adding windows to our dome so that the above top side here is going to be sufficiently lit to deter the creeping that we do so detest. Goodbye, creepers. Hello, new sky. Hello, new world. Okay, brave new world that has such tempests in it. We don't want to have a tempest tantrum. At this point, I'm literally just free associating because I have a lot of torches to put in. And I'm also in a little bit of a hurry to record because I had to take my kid to get inoculated and or vaccinated today. And so that ate into my lunchtime that I normally record during. So instead of having like a leisurely 45 minutes to record and then cut down into like 20 to 40 minutes, I'm like, I've got 20 minutes. I better make the most of them. You know, hello, the ground. Just as well, I wanted to grab all these before they despawned. But see, from in here, that actually looks really cool. Okay, there's some elements there that we're going to want to tweak. We also need to come in here and tweak a few other things. Oh, man, it's getting dark already. Okay, before it gets dark, let's finish up up top here. Because, oh, wait, that's right. There is a way to get up there. How? I really am going to need to set up a new way to get around here. Speaking of which, while we're up here, let's go ahead and put some purple blocks here. There's our half slab, half slab, half slab to stop those uh, spawning accidents. Of course, this is just barely out of reach. So we're going to go ahead and hop up like so. Okay, great. So, torch. Now, I might end up actually in the long term replacing these torches with, um, what do you call those? Uh, those ender magic stick things, the light up ones but not yet. Okay, so I also noticed there was some asymmetry, I think maybe around here or something. 
I think maybe it looked weird because this needed to be out further. Although it's hard to tell from up here what looked bad down there. But, okay. So this very top part, we might still have some spawning occurring. Ugh, I don't love it. But, I'm not really sure, based on the original design, how best to fix it. Let's see, what is the actual light level here? How do you tell? Light, 15. 15 from the sky, not... So, I think we need... So this is a light level of, like... 12 here. Yeah, so that's definitely low enough that stuff is going to be able to spawn up top. I'm going to have to come back and revisit that. But anyway, in the meantime, ooh, yeah, and they can just jump right down here too. I do. I'm thinking maybe I should go ahead and just put some temporary torches up there just while I'm building. Because the last thing I need is those guys coming down here and making trouble for me, you know? Oh, and these demi-domes are also going to have the same problem. Hmm. Well, with the demi-domes, we could possibly have some lights inside of those. Hmm. Those windows there. Okay. But for right now, just one bright torch or two. Well, let's just say four. Okay, good enough. That'll light this up for now. I am really feeling like I should extend this out a little bit, though. Just kind of... Just a bit. Like this, maybe? That just feels better. Like this one, so we've got... Hmm. It, it feels more gradual as it approaches the top there. Okay, good. So... Then we kind of have these here. Oh, this is the weird part. That was what was bothering me, was this was looking weird. Okay, so we'll bring this back across now. And to here, I think. Yeah, that'll look a lot better. And then kind of the same thing goes here. Yeah. Huh. Let's see, do we have... Yeah, that comes out way further on this side here. How far does it come in? Okay, just to there. So then we can come through like this. And that should be a pretty significant improvement. Let's go ahead and hop on down. Whoa, did not use the elytra properly. But from our king and queen seats up here... Well, that extra torch looks terrible, but other than that, it's great. So let's go ahead, have a quick stew. One thing I wanted to do was to scaffold out real quick and take care of all of these extra torches kind of in these... Like, these are basically scaffold torches. I only placed these so that I could get stuff built. And so they're going to look weird because they don't serve any Latin purpose. And I want these upper parts here to be dark with the exception of the dome, because it gives a good sense of the scope or scale of this. Like, this place should feel big, and it'll feel bigger if things get darker the further you are away. So, let's go ahead over this way. Take care of those. Now, I do gotta remember to break all of these dirt pieces down, because otherwise they'll infuriate me too, in the exact same way as all these little torches. And, because there's no torches on these dirt parts, we'll have mobs spawning as well. So, you know, double bad. Okay, good. Um, and knock out that one. And then we'll just go ahead and hack away. Oh man, this uh, shovel is getting to the end of its life. Not that I have like a bunch of extra diamonds lying around, but I might need to go mine at some point. Okay. See, extra dirt. I knew I knew one of them would end up sitting around. Okay, so these these extra ones up here, gone. Goodbye, torches. What is this block for? I don't even know if that block is necessary, because it's just for that 
Wait, is there a window on that side, but not on this side? With the dome? Oh, but that's we still have to work out how that's all going to meet up on that side, so whatever. That part's probably fine. This actually does need to have wall blocks placed there, which we have some of. So we can go ahead and fix this too while we're in here. Just quick torch light there. Wow, that's uh, not something you want to fall down. So don't. Okay. It's amazing how many little things there always are. You're like, oh, the dome's the big hard part. But like, then you're like, oh, and then there's this wall that was never patched up. And there's this archway here that I haven't fully resolved how it should function. Should it function like that? That's a weird way to do that. That's a good way to fall to your death. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at it from down here with all those extra blocks removed after we pick up these. Get a sense of how this is going. See, that looks pretty good with the exception of that extra endstone block there, which we can easily remove with the magic of ender pearls and pickaxes. And eating our last food. Dang it. Should have brought more food. Don't want to waste the glass. Perfect. Okay. So we'll head over this way real quick. And then I think we're going to go ahead, after we knock this out, You can. I already showed off in the last video that I elevated or maximized the height of those windows there. And I need to do that on every side. There's enough windows that need to be improved on that we're going to have to make a quick stop to grab more glass. But, like I said, I just want to see how all this comes together. Because this room has been one of the biggest challenges to think about at, while planning. And, yeah, look at that. That is pretty cool. This this is already looking better. Once we get the uh, grid torches out of the floor, it'll be better still. Boom, sunrise is happening. Well, maybe not yet. But somewhere, sunrise is happening. Okay. What other notes did I make? I needed a dais, an altar, and a... Oh, yeah, I need to put a slumped figure over the altar. Got to figure out... Probably just going to use some wool for that. But uh, this is this is already just... I'm so happy with this. I just want to take a minute and just look at it. But I also know that... Oh, my goodness. I'm almost out of time. Okay, yeah, let's, uh, let's run and grab that glass and be on our way. Time skip. You know, I'm looking at this, and th that, that block right there is definitely extra. That block, there's no place for you in my bold vision of the future. But you know what? I'm not here to single task. I'm here to multitask. So these blocks as well, we're just going to hit them out of the wall, incidentally, on our way up to the sky. Because, like, hey, something needs to be improved in the sky. That's good. But, you know, you don't just jump up into heaven and then, like, argue with God and then improve everything. You, uh, you know, make moderate improvements, you know, throughout your ascent. And then you steal the crown for yourself. Actually, I would add, th this is an extreme example or a metaphor that has gotten away from me. You probably should not physically ascend to heaven and challenge God himself. Just kind of thinking about that, you know, I feel like that's the sort of thing where it's like popular YouTubers are always giving bad advice and be like, haha, it's just a joke. But like, seriously, you could get hurt, you know, so don't, don't do that. Don't take that seriously. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. Dang it. I don't want to double call them. This is not a double rainbow festival, and even if it was, I would want a double rainbow and not a double column. There are only so many things you want two of, like, um, well, this isn't a Kit Kat commercial, or whatever. Um, dang it, most things that you'd want two of are things that people advertise for, and they are not paying me to advertise for them. So, don't uh, associate those with that. What are we doing here? Uh, windows. So we've got our taller windows already looking better. They look extra wide on the diagonals, which I do and don't love. I don't know. Maybe if I moved them over even... F oh. If I move this window over one and that window over one, I can actually go back to having three windows on the back wall, the way the uh, book actually originally describes it. Although it's going to... Oh, but it's going to be off-center... Well, no, that would work. 
I don't think I'm going to have time to do that this episode, but you know what? That, I think, is actually a legitimately good idea. Like, because having having all three windows means that I can get the buttresses on the outside of the castle to match the book better. And not that everything has to be perfect. In some ways, this is an interpretation of Tracy and Laura Heckman's Ravenloft Castle. But in other ways, you know, I want to achieve the highest fidelity possible so I can learn the most from their lessons. And also, when you incorporate the windows on the diagonal partially into the occluded part of the wall, that means that the windows don't look so massively wide because the occlusion uh, kind of cuts them off a little bit. So these windows here feel better than these windows because they're completely uh, out. They're, they're not inset at all from the outset. So anyway, let's hop up here, knock out our last window. Whoosh. One, two, three. Boom. There we go. Placing glass and taking panes. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this nail. I think that this space has come together remarkably well. During daylight hours, you can see the ceiling. Ooh, there is a... Yeah, there's some offset issues with the inside of the dome. I'm seeing very clearly from here. But, you know, let's go ahead and hop outside and see how it looks from there before we wrap up. So, up we go. Run in around a spiral staircase, and then jump in on rooftops like the tick. Not Spider-Man, because he doesn't really jump on roof from rooftop to rooftop. Okay, so let's go ahead and... We're going to just soar out this way for a little bit. Oh, check that out. That looks so much better with the additional domage. I think the French is Dommage, but... Yeah, yeah, this is... For folks who are, like, flying past the castle, you know, if I'm mumbo-jumbo or some bow, some... some buddy bow, that... that's looking pretty okay. I'm not sure I love the snow, but it actually kind of works in an interesting way. These arches come together now. Gotta work out that big arch. But yeah, for what were you able to accomplish in 20 minutes... I am pretty happy. And like I said, if we get these windows working, we can get the buttresses on the outside of these walls functioning the way they do in the book. And I'm just oh, so excited. It is so fun to build something piece by piece and have it actually, like, work, you know, when it all starts coming together. So, anyway. And you know what? This is a bad place to end the episode. I want to look from above. So, anyway. Until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.